Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How are you all doing? Welcome back to some more Medieval Kingdoms Total War 1212 AD campaign. Here today, we're going to be starting episode 3 of my Republic of Venice series. In today's video, we're going to be having a war with the Byzantine Empire. So guys, if you still are enjoying the series and want to ensure more videos and content, the best thing you guys can do is to leave a like, subscribe if you're new around here with notifications on, let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the series thus far. Feel free to leave a dislike, of course, if you're not enjoying the series. So guys, welcome back. In the last episode, we managed to defeat and destroy uh, Epirus in Dyrrachium in episode 1. We managed to take out the Kingdom of Sicily. Diplomacy-wise, we're currently strength ranked one in the world. They, the Ayubids are second, Hungary sixth, Georgia seventh, and the Empire of Nicaea, Theodorus, the Byzantine Empire, are currently strength ranked eighth, and they have six territories. So we're actually currently, diplomacy-wise, at war with them. Why is that? The Latin Empire declared war upon them. They've had a minor skirmish here and there. We haven't had actually any fights against them. They haven't lost any territories either. Oh, Crimea is under the attack by uh, Genghis Khan's son. Oh, okay. Um, we're having our first military interventions. I was actually heading over to declare war upon them. I was going to push from my military allies' Latin territory here in Asia. So we currently have the Doge of Venice, Jacopo who is our second doge and faction leader. We have Marino, his adoptive son. We've got two full stacks here, mostly made up of Venetian heavy melee infantry, archers, cavalry, the stock standard army build I like. We're going to be pushing these two armies into Nicaea and hopefully into Sinop to capture the region of Bithynia. We could push for Trebizond. We do have an army further south with Jamea in uh, Cyprus, uh, sorry, Crete, sorry, Cyprus is further to the right, <laughs> and we've got a full stack with you, still can do some things as well, as Rhodes is currently in this region, we can probably seize the crucial island and port, uh, there is a full stack here of Byzantines on the coast, Andron here, and we've got a smaller army further north, at the moment we currently have 54k in the bank, we're making 7.3k per turn, We've really got a strong maritime empire. Hopefully here today we can continue on our conquest and knock out the Byzantines. And then maybe we should have the siege of Constantinople and betray our Latin allies. So firstly, let's push against the Byzantines. Let's push into their capital of Nicaea. Now I've got a couple of options with this. Ideally, yeah, it's going to take one turn to do that. So at that point you're nearly better off just sieging. Now we can attack it in one turn. I'm just trying to think, is it our best bet? Alright, let's just push up. I can't actually see what's there, so... Let's move the Doge further north, our faction leader. Oh, and their capital's undefended. And it looks like it's going to be a good order resolve for me, just due to their... their army build. Okay, so let's push up to Nicaea. And they have these territories here. Okay, we've got to keep an eye on them. Alright, let's take the capital, the crucial capital of... Necomedia, Nicaea, three units of spear militia, some pikes, crossbowmen, and uh, some skirmishers. So let's auto resolve this one out. 5,300 Venetians at the start of the campaign, pushing in northern Asia. Let's now finish them off. We've got some combat experience against their sort of uh, Epirus brethren. We knocked them out in the last episode. We've taken Nicaea now. Let's. Uh, break down and repair where we can and uh, continue on the initiative okay so let's move you probably north let's move you to the pass here because I want to try and get a field battle if we get a field battle that would be ideal so push you up to a little bit of a vulnerable situation you can fall back into ally territory maybe luring a Byzantine army in would be a good shout okay we're going to move this third army the garrison at Crete to hit Rhodes, and what are the odds on that? Oh, it's a fitty fitty. Okay, uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to retreat for now because that's quite a large garrison, Cataphractoi, and whatnot. So I'm going to retreat. I'm going to disembark myself on the island if I can, and we'll try and siege it out. Build some siege equipment. Maybe by the time we get some reinforcements down here, it might even drag that army away. 
Yeah, because we can always retreat if we need to. Okay, cool. This is going to be a hell of an episode here today. We're going to be pushing really strong against the Byzantines, the conquest against them. So, yeah, Jacopo. Jacopo is 36. Marino is currently uh, 42. And Jamia is 41 as well. I want to try and get some more characters in. Essentially, what I'm doing is I'm allowing this to be sort of our... Republic adoption sort of stuff. We've actually been struggling to have some family members. There was a risk at one point where Jacopo was only, our only sort of claimant. He has had a daughter, Maddalena, who is currently one. <laughs> Very fitting Venetian Italian name. Okay, let's continue on. Let's get these melee attack and defense bonuses. It's really going to put the cherry on top when we're facing the Byzantines. So it's going to be interesting to see how they react. They are at war with a couple of factions now. I didn't declare war upon them, so they're not at war with, like, the Holy Roman Empire Hungary. But most of their enemies around the Mediterranean, Asia, Greece, uh, the Middle East, will be against them. Okay, so it does look like the Byzantine prince has um, come further south. He's just outside Rhodes. I'm tempted maybe to run him down. Use those political favours. Let's convert where we can. So where did that army go? Can't see. Regardless, we're going to break this siege. Because I don't think we could probably... Eh. Uh, uh, it's a risky order as well. It's going to obliterate the army though. Uh, let's retreat. Uh, I probably should have auto resolved it because I wanted to try and go for that if we could. Oh well. Uh, let's push. Probably north. I think pushing here is probably our best bet. I want to get a field battle. We haven't had a field battle in the Venice series. It's been two stock standard sieges. We're going to be able to take this settlement with ease though. Fantastic. Let's occupy. And continue on where we can. Break down as well. Yeah, it's always better to break down because some of the buildings you don't even want. Okay, well, let's continue on now, shall we? I might just quickly check who they're actually at war with. So... Salacia... Could be called in. Oh, they're not interested. What about Antioch or Cyprus? Oh, no, they're not interested. Oh, well, let's end the turn and continue. The Byzantines have probably maybe one, two full stacks. So, it's going to be interesting to see if we come across one of them eventually. Uh, we could move you here to the border as well. Try and lure someone out. Yeah, there we go. There's an army here. Hopefully, Andron intercepts me. Marino is... Actually, can I name him the heir? Oh, yeah. We don't have a proper heir. Well, let's do that then. Let's name him the official heir. Yeah, there we go. I've had, I've had some minor public order problems, but nothing too crazy. Good. Marino is the uh, heir apparent to the Republic of Venice. Genoa has declared war upon Toulouse. Fitty, fitty. I don't care, I'm just going to decline and break. I don't care about Genoa. It's Pisa that's really historically helped me out in this series. In our past, they helped us take the city of Syracuse. Okay, so it looks like Rhodes is not going to be the target of the Cyprus for uh, the Crete force. It looks like we're going to probably swing them around to... Pergamon, Asia Mine is probably our best bet. But I still don't know where that full stack is. It still has evaded me somehow. There's been... Oh, no! Madalina! Oh, uh, Madeline's gone. And... Anastasio. Anastasio. Son, okay. I need to find the... Uh proper pronunciation of that. Okay, so that army's there now. Okay, hopefully they maybe snipe a Latin Empire force off me. That would be ideal. 
Okay, let's move Marino further south. And if we could somehow... If we could somehow get you here, that'll allow us to take this. Perfect. Who's this? Alexios. Come Grikios. Let's take this. Okay. Uh, continue to break down. I might actually go into my... Oh, let's, get, let's break that further down. We all want that. Alright. Uh, nothing really is going on here. What can I do with you? How many territories do they have left now? Three. There's an army further there. I bet you, I bet you the Emperor's up that way. I can actually strike Sinop there. Where can this hit? I'm just trying to think where I'm better off to go here. Staying here is probably not a bad shout, as it does allow me to pull either way. Maybe push into the border here. Allows me to see territory further in, in uh, Ankara, Ankara. Okay, we'll attend the turn to continue and see how they react. They've sort of been fucking around a bit, the Byzantines, to be perfectly honest. They haven't done anything overly apparent. Let's go with my spoiler. Like, this army here is fucked around here. Uh, they have taken a, um, a settlement there. They've taken Trebizond. Whoa. Oh, okay. I saw, <laughs> I saw the Principality of Antioch take a settlement in the region of Cappadocia. I was like, fuck, no, that's pretty far, far east. But it was actually quite close. All right, let's see what they do. They've got so many options there. If they could steal that Latin Empire army, that would be awesome if they could. Okay, that's now pushed further north now. Yeah, it's just hanging out. It's not really going for anyone. That's odd. I'm probably going to continue to push... Uh, Eastwood, if it's overextending themselves going west. Hmm. We'll probably push down against Crete, though. Uh, Rhodes, rather. Push down near Crete. Okay, dysentery, consumption, but it's not really too much of an issue for us. Oh, the army's pushed that way. Alright. Anyway, let's move you. Uh... Let's keep you here for now. Yeah, yeah, so we can go for an amphibious attack with one turn. We do have catapults there. Let's going to nuke the movement. Right, let's move you there then. Let's maintain the blockade. Let's move my secondary force up. And we're going to be able to take Rhodes with an amphibious assault. Boom! Rhodes is under our control. Excellent. Excellente. Let's repair where we can. Okay, I want to try and move out as well. If I could somehow get that back to Crete, that would be good, but it doesn't look likely. Okay, I really need to fix up my recruitment builds because they're a little bit all over the place. I need a bit of a blueprint, a bit of a plan. So, can this army hit Nicaea? That's the main thing I'm worried about. It can't. So, let's negotiate with the Seljuk Sultanate of Rum. Of Rum. Um, they don't want to negotiate with me. So, we're going to push to the border here on Sinop because I'm hoping this can bait an army out. And I think we somehow missed the garrison there. So, we'll sit here in defiant with the Venetian Doge and hopefully someone comes out against me. Okay, welcome to the end turn phase. Oh! Your allies declared war on... Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, no, it's all right, it's all right. Allies declare war on the Hasfid Sultanate. Let's decline and break, because they're actually quite close to me. They're in strike, especially Tunisia there. Carthage, they're in quite close striking distance of Syracuse, so I'm going to decline for now. We're going through the end turn phase. The Byzantine Prince has pushed further towards Macedon. I don't know what it's called here now, I can't remember, bloody remember. Philippopolis. There's always slight changes and iterations depending on the time period. Alright. Uh, Thessalonica. I think Philippopolis is there, actually, yeah. Ah, so the army's come back, okay. That's interesting. And no one came this way, that's alright. We can push back to Nicaea here for now. Eh. 
Bit of a bold strategy. Come on, I want you to attack me there. That's what I really want. Okay, let's move this secondary army now. Uh, where? They could hit that, so I'm going to pull here. Even though it's probably not a bad shout trying to protect it. I'd rather not. <laughs> I want it for myself. Rightio, let's see how they continue to react. Not really too much else we can do. I hope they attack. We'll be able to throw them back. But, I don't know. It's actually kind of good. If we can sort of set up a bit of a bait here. Uh... Yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to give you 7,000 for a defensive alliance. You can fuck right off. Yeah, so if we can make sort of a three-prong here, they might even bait into that. Oh. Oh! Okay. Aggressor. Ha! Going after Mo Genghis Khan's second star. Son, you can get the hell out of here. I don't want to bring the hordes down upon me. I only use the military alliances early on for protection. Once you sort of build up a decent enough kingdom and you can fight viably and safely for yourselves. You can piss them all right off, in my opinion. Uh, okay, so... We'll try get a fight, but we'll just sort of see how we bloody go in this. I want to get a field battle, that's what I ideally want. Oh, what's happened here? Oh, okay. Theodorus, the former emperor of the Byzantine realm, has died. And subsequently, Michael, his son, has rose to the throne. Okay. Okay, let's deal with this army further north, I imagine. Oh, but that's the heir now, Michael. Yeah, we... Oh, we probably could go for him if we... Oh, uh, he's gonna... He's not gonna be able to take anything properly. So that's fine. We'll continue to upgrade this where we can. Yeah, that army's a bit bruised and battered. I, I reckon we can probably deal with that. I want it to disembark. I want to fucking fight it. Stop being so shit that you're just, like, hanging around there. We can move you further north here now, though. Trespassing against the Saluks. We can probably start besieging Sinop. Yeah, so... I guess we give it one turn, but if not, we're just going to have to strike it, aren't we? To be perfectly honest. Let's pull you further north here now, then. I want a field battle. I'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt. Disembark and fight me. Or we're just going to have to auto-resolve you in the sea. Because <laughs> there's no ships in this mod just yet. Oh, they disappeared through the end turn phase. I don't know where they went. Yeah, I gave him a chance. I want to feel about it. We haven't had one in this series just yet. Whoa, someone's skirt. Fanged it that way out there. Okay, guys, welcome to the top of the turn. Let's burn another. Man, this conquest of Byzantine was, uh, not going to lie, a little bit underwhelming. We will have a battle. Maybe one I want. Maybe not. Yeah, it pieced the hell out somehow. Let's, um... Let's push for Sinop then. Okay, that's a little bit better. Can we get reinforced? Can you actually get there? Oh, you can too. What about this? Oh, that can easily get there. Oh, okay. Well, I don't want to get one of my regions sniped because we haven't actually converted... The problem is when you're sort of converting regions. They're a little bit vulnerable to attack, so there's no garrison defending these. I can't see where that army went. The way I'm going to go to Sinop is by the coast, so it will give me some line of sight here for now. Oh, we're going to have to push on a force march, but that's fine. Alright, let's take Sinop then. Another easy clean cut auto resolve. Let's occupy. Now, does that give us more vision on the coast? It doesn't. There must be a full stack here in Trebizond. How the hell do they take it if they don't? Ah, they want peace. I was just sort of asking for my own curiosity than anything. 
We've done quite well here. We've taken a huge chunk of Asia Minor. We've taken half of Asia and Bithynia. It's just a little bit of a shame that the Latin Empire declared war upon them. Because if I had the choice, I would have intercepted a main army to make sure I destroyed it. But because the Latin Empire declared war upon them, it sort of fragmented and sort of pulled them everywhere. Um, but that's just how it is. There's no point in me declining the alliance with the Latin Empire. Um, and then <laughs> making another one. Just to go to war with the Byzantines again on my terms. Just content and sort of entertainment wise. Auto resolving these easy cities isn't the most enjoyable thing to watch. I don't know, maybe. You want to get a good battle. I want to have a good, decent field battle if I can, but. I don't know if we're going to get one. Uh, okay, there's that army there. If not, there's going to be a hell of a siege down there, I'd imagine. Oh, Rhodes was retaken. Yeah, that's the, that's the cost, isn't it? Because when they take it back, they get the garrison back instantly. Alright, let's swing back down and retake Rhodes. We should be able to. Yeah. It's a bit of a pain like that. Oh, the Emperor's inside. Isaac! Whoa, they're getting battered. I think they're getting battered here. I think there's something going on here. Because that's another Emperor gone. Are we just getting pipped here? Who is this? The Trebizond Pretenders with Jonas. I think they're just battering them. They are at war with most of the known world, but two emper emperors, the year of the three emperors. I might just con I might just continue this siege here in Rhodes because potentially there might not be an army here by the look of it. And there's not. What the hell is going on? Eh, it's not quite abandoned. Uh, yeah, you can't. Uh, yeah, no, you're just going to have to sit here for the time being. Build some siege equipment. For now. Okay. Right, let's auto resolve this one. Get this one done, we'll play the other battle if they don't come out and intercept me again. But man, we are just rolling through the Byzantine emperors. It's quite crazy, actually. Okay, well, let's see how they retaliate this time around. I personally wonder if anything's going to change, to be honest. Oh, we can actually adopt another character here now. Let's do that. Geraldo. Geraldo. Let's bring you in. You can adopt someone. Can you adopt anyone, actually? Yeah, you can. Camilio. Let's bring you in then as well. The more adoptees we can get in, the better. Alright, let's end the turn. Mission succeeded! Papal favor's gone up. There's a goddamn rebel army there. Maybe this got smashed by rebels and something, I don't know. That's weird. I'm surprised they didn't put up much of a fight. I swear in previous series where I've fought them, they've done at least somewhat. Been somewhat competent. Declined. Yeah, look, that army went. That army went back. Wow. Okay, welcome to the top of the turn. Military investment, foreign trespasses. Yeah. Oh, that's a bit of a shame. They were just sort of like, I don't know what they would. Okay, so where are they now? So they've come back here. Seven units. Andron has 13. So who's the Emperor now? Andron. 45 is the strength rank, uh, rating. So they, they're not even trying to defend Trebizond. Andron's currently inside there. That might be alright. So that army's there. Um, can I somehow... If I could somehow move you... Actually, what were the odds here? Uh, no, that's alright. Catapults, that's still fine. Two units of spears, some lighter, a lot of archers, cavalry. We can make that work. Um, I'm trying to think, because we need to pull back here, because I think yeah, Nicaea is two turns away. It's still very much undefended. So if we can put you here, you still can't get to Nicaea, can you? No. You can, but this army is going to take sin up if we're not careful. It's gone the right way. Let's quickly run down these 
Greek rebels. Now, can we get... We can't. We fucked out movement. Ugh. So we might lose Nicaea. And if we haul ass... Might work. Alright, let's have a battle against them. Actually, what I'll do... Is I'll give it another turn. Because there might be a better fight here. If not, we'll have the siege at Trebizond. Oh, they pissed off again. That's whack. This is this is so weird. <laughs> They're just like running away. <laughs> when all hope is lost. Okay, faction destroyed. The Soluk pretenders. And uh, Ian is born, I guess. Gian. Okay, so they aren't there. No armies have come up for support. Incredibly odd. Oh well, let's move you back to Sinop. Let's move you here. You can probably actually... Yeah, you can't quite make it. Alrighty then, well, let's have the Siege of Trebizond. Man, it's just sort of anticlimactic. I think they just, just got... They got ganged up on. That's as simple as, as it. Look, they're at war with Thessalonica, the Greeks, the Seljuk Sultanate of Rum. Trebizond, the Latin Empire, the Mongols, and myself. I feel like these got picked apart at the seams before we even sort of got there, and we were the ones to benefit from their territory. The Latin Empire actually backed out a little bit. We can't move any reinforcing armies up just yet, that's fine. Let's uh, push for Trebizond. We... Hmm, we can't somehow bring them in. Uh... No. I right, said the siege. Yeah, so no reinforcing armies coming in. So, we're going to be fighting the 4th Byzantine Empire in this episode. Andronicus. Two units of spears, two units of lighter, four archers, two units of skirmishers, and two units of cavalry. We've got a unit of our own battering ram and catapults and ladders. Let's get stuck in to the last... Byzantine Emperor in the Siege of Trebizond, the Battle for Trebizond, 1225 AD. Okay guys, welcome to the battle map. Let's uh, get stuck right into deployment. I'm incredibly happy with our favourable conditions. Okay, so let's move the battering ram straight up. And yeah, we'll probably pull you to that side because there's no arrow towers there. There's only very few here. Okay, so we'll move... Oh, whoops. We'll move you here. And then we'll move here. We'll split the difference as well with our arrow... With our, um... Why are they doing that? There you go, go here. Split the difference with our ladders. Uh, if you could sneak in there, that would be ideal. But I feel like you might sort of... Glitch and bugger out. Ah, oh, 89% damage. Okay, okay, I see that. That's another path in. We might break that. Because last... Even the gates are a little bit damaged, is good. That's at 75. What about this side? Oh, wow. Oh, piss this off. Yeah, let's fuck that side off. Let's give everything on this, on like this vicinity. It can get cut off quite easily, but I reckon push for this. Put our cavalry here. Maybe they will be stupid enough to sit there and bait. But we should go all for this. Right, you go put the battering ram straight up through there. You go through all well, the targets we need to hit. I like... Uh, come on, come on a bit more. There we go. That's better. So, 89. That could be easily done. 72. How well could you hit that? You need to be further to the left. Yeah, there we go. That could hit that quite well. Maybe even further this way. Because we need to get in... We need to be able to pivot to the right quickly. Hopefully, there isn't too much of a crossfire, but... I don't think I'm too overly fast with that. 
So you can, yeah, if we can break that down, we can really swing more guys like this way and around. Um, should we go with another point? But the more sort of ways we can get up, the better. Okay, archers, you're on heavy shot, that's fine. You can continue with that. Reinforcing, chuck everyone there. I think pulling everyone this way is probably our best bet. Uh, and then we got the doge there. Alright, cool. Alright, let's start the battle. Let's quickly pause and have a look at the units. So here is the second doge of Venice. Jacopo. Jacopo. <laughs> and Pietro was the original sort of planner and designer for the siege of Sicily. Conquest of Sicily. And uh, now we're all the way in the Far East. We're on tour. Going against the Byzantines and finishing off their fourth and final emperor. Alright. Let's push you here. Let's move you that away. Let's give the ladders a little bit of time to push up and over and around. We'll move my archers here. To rain fire and death upon the enemy. Once they gain... Oh, they're already firing. To be fair... It's still not... That actually helped. <laughs> I'm not even going to lie. Okay, we'll wait for our... Siege equipped to somewhat move up. That didn't work. No way that worked. Halt. Halt. You're in range. Pull back. Turn, turn it around! <laughs> okay, so we're now pushing up here. We don't want to accidentally set ablaze our own stuff. So let's just try and speed it up just a tad. Really, pull this way. Like, pull left. It'd be quicker doing that. Like, pulling them here. Come on, you can do it. I fucking believe in you. Okay, archers. So for you, you're better off hitting something like this. You're better off hitting something like that. And then you're better off coming like here and then hitting them on the side. So let's have a look at the Byzantine units. So they've got their catapults further on the far side. Good, we predicted that. So they've got some of their Byzantine archers here. So they've got some unit of cataphractoi intertwined in between them. The double eagle rises. Further into the square is the Emperor himself, dunning the bold and purple with the Orthodox Bastilda, Bastilda <laughs> church in the background. Standards nice and high. That's a really cool shot. That's a good screenshot. Okay, so that's good there, drawing them away. Okay, time for the catapults to join the party. Fire into this. Alright, you go like here, say. You go there. Uh, you should be like further this way a bit more, yeah. Alright, so catapults try and break down this 21. And even the overshot is going to work. That's fantastic. Okay, fire into this. They're moving. Continue to arc the shot. I've changed my mind. Go for the cataphractoi. Putting some damage and hit points against them would be more beneficial. The battering rams now up for the Venetians. The cataphracts are uh, copying fire. And if we can go for these guys as well, that would be ideal. Come on. You... Is it too much to ask for that sort of shot? They really need to be moved up an increment. Come on, be a little bit more competent. I know we're only tier 1 catapults, but Jesus Christ. Jesus! <laughs> Help! And hurry up! <laughs> right, that's not a bad shot. But it's not the dog's bollocks, right? 
We're going to get flat-footed charge there. So we need to... Yeah, I was going to say, we need to form up there. Oh, come on. We're still doing well against that. Continue to do that. Yeah, there we go, there we go. They're coming in. Counter! Counter charge! Wedge formation, a little bit slow, but... 30. It's not as bad as what it could have potentially been. Right, that's now taken, which is good. Now go. Fly, my pretties. Flood. Flood them. Alright, try and swing for something like that. You're probably going to hit the battering ram now more than anything. Alright, they're engaging well. You push for this. Let's send that cavalry far right. That battering ram was a complete bait. You move here now then. Flood everyone in. Continue to get my archers to hit them. We've already knocked out five. Okay, we are going to get exposed here if these guys don't get up and over the wall quick enough. Just fucking drop that ram. Oh, it's actually about to be broken and destroyed. Because they're going to get surrounded and broken there. Right, push up and over. Come on. You can't be too slow. Alright, archers, redirect you to stay here. And then we want you to hit those guys at the back if you can. Okay, reinforcements are coming. Same with the cavalry. Put the cavalry up. Uh, there's no point in hitting that sort of shit, so... Swing here. Switch over to explosive... Rounds. Swing you there to deal with this. Come here. And help out. Is there somehow to flank around that way? We can do it. It, it is possible. It's going to be a little bit of a task. So move the cavalry up this way. Send a unit there. But get the cavalry up here. We could even go straight for Andron himself, actually. Swing down. Bring more reinforcements here. Finish that off. That's fine. Archers, I want you to hit I want you to hit these skirmishes at the back. It might be a little bit ambitious, but if you could do it, that would be ideal. I don't know of the range. I don't think the range is good enough. Okay, those reinforcements are now coming. Plug this. So you can go straight for Andron himself. We'll get you to peel this way. While you two, if you could go that way, like down to the docks, that would be ideal. Okay, you can do this. Ah, uh, these archers actually better off coming like here. And hitting these reinforcements coming up. And catapults there are better off redirecting there. Okay. So, I'll just get these... Uh, I'll put, put, push up to help. Especially with spearmen there. Oh, these guys are going to get a royal fucking surprise up the arse. Around the back here. And you push up here. Come and deal with this. Here we go. Here comes the thunder. That's not Thor and his fucking hammer. Oh, these guys are going to get roasted. Hacking and slashing. Spears getting splintered. Go check out my Rohan campaign if you haven't already. Go leave a like so I can feed myself. <laughs> right, come on, you fucking bastards. Alright, try and skirmish these guys out. We're actually fighting the general in the town square. There he is! Cut his pretty feathers off. We're actually capping it as well. That's gone. Alright. 31, if we can drop it to at least 20... I'll be happy. Right, let's push up here. This cavalry unit's taking a little bit too much on up there. Essentially try and get you guys to redo that. Right, fire into this up and over. We're actually fighting their spearmen there. In hand-to-hand -hand combat. They're putting up a good fight. 
I just prefer field battles. They're always unique and different. I feel like sieges, after a time, can feel very sort of samey. Turn it to fucking James McAvoy there. Alright, let's push for this. I can't remember the goddamn character's name. Okay. Fuck it. Just counter charge down. 134, high ground, even though they're spears. Fuck it. We've got such an elevation. It'll buy enough time for spearmen to come. So did it work at all? 10. Uh, sometimes you can get rid of like 100. On like mental charges. Actually, hold! Give way to the right! The golden rule! Oh, they're getting counted there. Yeah, quickly. Well, I guess you're a, Is it Amer- I guess it'd be the other side. Like, it's give way to the left if you're American. Is it? I don't know. I guess it would be, because the golden rule when you're driving is always give way to the right. Alright, push up here. Try and get these skirmishes down. Yeah, because it's on the other side, so I guess. But it might not be, because... I don't know. I'm never going to drive on the... Right-hand side of the road. Right, push here. The enemy general's dead. Oh, good. We got rid of him. Awesome. Alright, we're dealing with them now. Oh, somehow they snuck through. That's a crazy flank. Give it to them now, then. Alright, push the cavalry further up and around. Okay, no one else is just getting picked apart on an angle or something, no. Alright. Gain some speed and momentum. 82 before the charge. Go. Right. For Crescendo! We're a Venice Maritime Empire. <laughs> Venice. Alright. Where are we pushing it? Oh, fuck. For fuck's sake, fam. Right, that's gone now. Good. Right. There's a capture point here we don't have. Even though the entire army's on the back foot, they're in a full retreat. So bold, my archers have forgotten their goddamn rolls. Oh, oh damn, it's those fucking arrow towers there. It smashed me. Good, well, let's end it there. Decisive victory at that. So, Jacopo. The Doge of Venice deployed 2,642, lost a measly 337. Andron deployed a, thou deployed a thousand less with 1,621. Cataphractoi did good. The Cataphracts, 50, 57. Uh, um, Bose did well, 23. Yeah. What was most of our work? Whoa! 202. I didn't know they did that well. Archers, 7, 13, 25. Crikey. But our swordsmen are doing really well. They're as good as the dismounted hospitalars and Templar Knights as in uh, previous series and campaigns I've done. Okay, guys, welcome to the campaign map. Trebizond has fallen. Let's occupy the city. And we've taken it. We've also gained a, a crucial clay port by the look of it. Uh, we probably could use that. Oh my god, there's a crazy fucking witch doctor there. Holy shit. That's some... <laughs> That's fucking nightmare fuel there. Oh, so now we can see the entirety of uh, the sea here. And they've pissed off that way. That's so odd. But regardless, guys, unfortunately on that note, it's time to end episode 3 of the Republic of Venice series here today. We've officially thrown out the Empire of Nicaea from their lands in Asia Minor. Jonas now is a claimant. Um, it's going to be interesting to see what happens to them. I guess they're going to sort of rot away at the edge of the world. So we've actually seized territory as Venice 
in the Far East. It's quite crazy, just looking at our, at our map. It's very sparse and in between, but when you look at our diplomacy status, it's quite safe and homogenous, you know what I mean? Even though we only occupy one region here and up here, it's, it's not too bad. So we have Venice, Southern Italy under our control. Uh, of course, Greece, Crete, Asia Minor and whatnot. So unfortunately, guys, on that note, it's time to end the uh, video here. Thank you very much for watching episode 3. Stay tuned for more videos on the channel. I think... We probably should go for the Latin Empire, probably portray them. I think sort of the biggest major region we could take would be Constantinople. I think we should go for that. We could go on Crusade though as well. Maybe that's something you'd like to see. Because the Siege of Cairo still hasn't been complete. So maybe we should have a fight against the Iubids. And have a field battle, finally. I don't know. Let me know in the comments. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know in the comment section down below your feedback for the series. And if you would like to see more, that's the best way to ensure more content. Leave a dislike if you're not enjoying the series. Check out my social media links if you want to stay connected with me. Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all in the description below. Highly recommend Twitter. Every single time I post a video, a tweet goes out. It's much more reliable than the YouTube sub box. These days, to get all the notifications for the channel, you have to click the bell, of course, to join the notification squad. I do enjoy reading those comments. Patreon and merchandise link in the description below, along with the Steam group. Come and join the community on Steam. And on that note, unfortunately, I have to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching once again. Make sure to take care of yourselves. Go out and have a fantastic rest of your day. My name is Ben CMC. Goodbye.